Hey, yo, 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 peeps, how you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be checking out this voice amplification unit. It's the S388 by a company called Wimbridge. It comes with this headset wireless microphone, which can last up to eight hours. The S388 comes with this voice amplification unit, and the unit itself comes with a loudspeaker at the front. It also has an inbuilt rechargeable battery where you can play your music using the built in Bluetooth 5.0. You can also play music by using the auxiliary port or the built in USB port on the side. And with a full charge, you can get up to 15 hours of use. The Winbridge S3AA is great for teachers and instructors. With that being said, let's go and roll the intro. Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every Monday. Just before we dive straight into the video, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout the video. So let's go and check what comes in the box. So everything comes in this well-packaged box with plenty of information all around it to get you going. Upon opening the box, you're firstly going to be met with the voice amplifier. You also get the wireless headset microphone. You get a Type-C charging cable. You also get this USB charging plug. You get one 3.5 millimeter audio cable. You also get this adjustable waistband to put around your neck or your waist. And of course, you get a very useful user manual, which I insist you read before using the device. Having seen the unboxing, let's go and check out the build quality. As far as the build quality goes, the voice amplifier feels excellent, very robust and professional. And it's got this kind of a camera DSLR look to it. It's made out of hardened plastic. The knobs and buttons all feel very sturdy. And as you can see, it comes with this matte black finish all around. And the bonus is you can use the amplifier whilst in charge. So just looking at the Winbridge voice application from the front. So at the front, you'll find the 20 watt power loudspeaker. Winchester do claim it's loud enough to cover 8,000 square feet. To the right of the speaker, you're going to find the LCD display. Now looking at the top from left to right, you're first going to get the mode switch. Next along, you'll find the previous song switch. And to the right of that, you're going to find the play, pause and mute button. The next button along is the next button for the next song, if you get what I mean. The next button is the record button. And finally, you get the knob switch to turn on and off the device and also controls the volume up and down level. On the right side of the amplifier from top to bottom, you're firstly gonna get the mic in jack port. Next down, you're gonna find the auxiliary jack port, which will also display on the LED display when in use. Next down, you're gonna find the type C charging port and finally a USB type A port at the bottom. Now let's quickly go and check out the wireless headset microphone. The headset and the microphone both come separated. Just use the twist and turn mechanism to attach the wireless microphone to the headset. On the side, you find the power on and off button that gives you green LED status lights when powered on and also showing your battery level. On the opposite side, you get the USB-C charging port and at the bottom, you're obviously gonna find the wireless the microphone. Okay, let's power the amplifier up and get rid of the Shure SM7B that I've been speaking on now and show you some examples of how this sounds. Everything else I'm going to show you in real time. I'm going to be recording the audio on my Canon camera. Let's go and power this up now. So basically you get this a big knob at the top here. Let's turn that on and it gives you an LED status there. So the microphone is powered on from the bottom there. Let's put that on and the LED green status lights come on. Let's put that on myself now. Then you basically give the M button a long press. Let's do that now. And then at the front, you get the UI assign. So you're probably still listening to the audio coming directly out of the Canon camera. Let's start moving the volume up on here now. You're actually going to be hearing all the audio now coming from this speaker. The volume is coming from the voice amplifier. So now you're listening to the audio on the Canon camera. And now I'm going to bring start bringing this up. So we're at volume 11. We're at volume 16. And now... Oh, I'll bring it down so I don't get enough feedback. Anyway, that's the only way I can actually show it unless I put it on some kind of... I'm hoping that the Canon camera that I'm speaking on is picking this voice up. It, it does actually get quite loud. I'm going to hold the, uh, I'm going to hold the amplifier like this because I will otherwise get feedback and what I mean what I mean by feedback is if the mic and the speaker are in front of each other you get this kind of a feedback tone let me give you let me give you an example Testing. <coughs> or you'd probably put the belt clip 
against your waistline. So this is what it sounds like. Let me go and show you test one. I've only put the um, amplifier down here, so hopefully that's picking up the audio pretty well. If you've got an iPhone and you want to play music from your iPhone, with the iPhone, you're obviously going to need the lightning port that comes with it. Plug it in, and I'm going to plug this into the, and I'm going to, and that's now plugged into the auxiliary port. <laughs> That's at volume one, uh, four. Slowly increasing the volume. For the wind bridge is still connected, and uh, yeah, it's it's a great little system. So from there, I'm going to start playing it now and pause. See, it's definitely working, and as you can see, that the let's see if. The UI is still connected, so it's still picking up the audio from the mic that I've got on. And uh, yeah, this is what it sounds like. It's a really nice little system, actually. Even if... let's, try... let's try moving it to the next song. That definitely works. Let's go back a song. So those were the tests that were done on the Wimbridge. With that being said, let me go and give you my final thoughts on the Wimbridge S3AA of voice amplifier. So at the time of filming this video, the Wimbridge S3AA voice amplifier retails for around the $109. For me, it comes packed with features and you get all the accessories you need to get this going. The fact that you can use this with the wireless headset microphone, or you can just use it as a external amplifier for your music, or if you want to listen to music while having a barbecue or whatever, it's a great solution. So would I recommend the S3AA voice amplifier to you? Absolutely yes. Yes, if you're a tutor or if you're an instructor, a yoga instructor, whatever type of teaching you're into, highly recommend the S3AA. Uh, it's a great unit. It's got dual use. It's a wireless headset microphone as well as a portable music player as well that gets quite loud, I must say. Anyway, peeps, that's all you're going to get from me for today. If you like the video, hit that like button or smash it if that's something you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and I shall see you in the next video.